Let us now see the circulation of blood through this mammalian heart. We have understood the structure. So let us understand how this blood is going to flow. So circulation of blood through human heart. This uh, human heart or this circulation is a complete double circulation. What is meant by complete double circulation? Complete double circulation means there is complete separation of blood and the blood passes through the heart two times before it is supplied to any particular organ. And this circulation through heart is divided into two parts. One is known as systemic circulation or it is also known as greater circulation. And the second is pulmonary circulation or lesser circulation. We will write down the path. Let us first understand what exactly we mean by these two types of circulations. Suppose we draw the same heart in a slightly simpler manner. So this is the heart and these are the four compartments. Now what is happening? Let us label this. This is the right auricle. This is right, sorry, this is left auricle, right ventricle and left ventricle. So four compartments. We don't have to label other things. We are talking about only the path of blood. If we are talking of the systemic circulation, systemic circulation basically means the circulation of blood to and from the body parts. Now let us see which is taking, which blood vessel is taking the blood to the heart, oh sorry, to the body parts and bringing it from the body parts. After understanding all the structure, we know that the blood which is pumped to the body parts is oxygenated and that is from aorta. Now here we are not going to show the typical pattern of uh, circulation or the blood vessels. We're just going to show an arrow with which we can understand how and which way the blood is going to flow. So we are talking about blood going to the body parts. We know the blood, oxygenated blood is taken by aorta from the left ventricle. That means the blood is going to come from here and it will be taken to the body parts. Through aorta. So this arrow is showing us aorta. In the body parts, exchange of gases would take place and the blood will be brought back to the heart through superior or inferior vena cava into the right atria. So this is going to be vena cava. It can be superior also or inferior also. So the chambers of heart which are responsible for systemic or greater circulation are left ventricle through aorta going to the body parts, superior inferior vena cava bringing it to the right atria. So it is left ventricle and right auricles which are helping in systemic or greater circulation. If we talk about pulmonary circulation, then it means the flow of blood to and from the lungs. That means blood going to the lungs and coming back from the lungs. Which blood vessel takes the blood to the lungs? It is the deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle which is going to the lungs. So from here, it goes to, or let us write it like this, it goes to the lungs. And the blood vessel which is taking it is 
pulmonary artery from the lungs after oxygenated oxygenation the blood comes into the left auricle through pulmonary veins the the de sorry the deoxygenated blood is going to the lungs and oxygenated blood is coming into the heart so which compartments help here it is going to be the right ventricle and this one that is left auricle this is the circulation and we divide it into two parts now instead of diagrammatic we will make an arrow a flow chart kind of thing to understand the same flow and then we will write down the same names so let us draw a flow chart here this circulation is going to take place in a cyclic manner so we can start from anywhere let us start from right ventricle so this is right ventricle and this is the flow chart so everything is going to be connected with arrows now from right ventricles the blood is taken by the pulmonary artery so this is pulmonary artery and the blood which is being taken from here is deoxygenated blood this blood deoxygenated blood is going to the lungs so right ventricle is pumping deoxygenated blood to the lungs through pulmonary artery from the lungs oxygenated blood is going to come back into the heart and the compartment which is going to receive it is left auricle so the two compartments right ventricle and left auricle now from left auricle the oxygenated blood which came comes into the left ventricle so from here it comes to left ventricle and from left ventricle the blood is oxygenated now it is pumped through aorta the blood is oxygenated and the aorta is going to take it to the body parts in body parts exchange of gases would take place and deoxygenated blood now the blood is going to get deoxygenated and it is going to come back into the heart into the right auricle so it comes into right auricle and from a right auricle it will come into right ventricle so this is the complete circulation now if we have to just name it as pulmonary and system we say to the lungs from heart to the lungs and from lungs back into the heart that means this circulation is pulmonary circulation to and from the lungs this is what pulmonary circulation is and the compartments which help are right ventricle and left auricle we have the diagram in front of us now coming to the other half this is systemic circulation to and from the body parts so from the heart it is going to the body parts and then it is coming back into the heart so this is systemic circulation systemic circulation so this is uh, the flow chart in which we explain but the diagram wise the compartments which help they are one from each side so if we are talking of pulmonary circulation then the compartments which help are these two to and from the lungs from here going to the lung here coming from the lung and the compartments which help in systemic circulation are these two so though we have heart divided into left and right parts but in a particular circulation one chamber is from right side and the other chamber is from the left side and this is the complete double circulation that we are talking of and we divide it into two parts pulmonary and systemic systemic circulation is known as greater circulation 
pulmonary zone as lesser circulation.